there's a brother in the UK uh, who has uh, some cafes. And they're called uh, Caramello Cafes. So anyone who's in the UK, look, look these cafes up. It's Caramello Cafes. And this brother has taken uh, a very vocal position for Palestine, for Gaza, and working, for example, even on the Article 6 campaign and so on. Uh, and it's hurt his business. So you have to, you, we have to award, reward people. Not, it's not just like, like, say, for example, like the BDS movement uh, and any sort of a boycott movement that's about uh, punishing companies, punishing businesses for supporting Israel. Okay, that's one side of the coin. That's one side of the strategy. But the other side of the strategy that is just as necessary, if not even more necessary, this could actually be sufficient even without punishing. If you reward companies that are pro-Palestinian, if you reward companies that are pro-Palestinian, companies already are looking for things that will increase their business. That's all they're interested in. If you punish a business, now I'm not, I'm not trying to say anything against boycotts here, so don't misunderstand me. But, but if you boycott a company, businesses, companies are built to understand that and to navigate those, those types of challenges. That's what companies do all the time. I'm not saying that it's not effective because obviously it has been incredibly effective. The boycotts have been incredibly effective and I fully support that. But if companies see, just for themselves, passively see that companies that take a pro-Palestine stance uh, see their revenues go up, see their revenues spike, well, they'll take a pro-Palestinian stance just because it makes sense. They don't even have to be punished. Any, any company that can see that this is a winning strategy, they'll copy that strategy, whether they mean it or not, and who cares if they mean it or not. The point is that they're responding, uh, and those are from the Ahl al-Hal wal in any society, the businesses, the industrialists, and so on, the companies, the major companies and corporations. So if, you, if they're being rewarded, and if, you, if we have a brother in the UK who is running these cafes and owns these cafes or co-owns these cafes, Caramello Cafes, he needs to be rewarded. His cafe should be full. And, and every cafe and Starbucks and all of the other, and every other business should see that his cafe is full from opening in the morning to closing at night. It should be full of people. Because that's, that's actually a way that you can support. That's, a, that's an actual, practical, real way that you can support uh, Palestine, support Gaza, and support peace, and so on. By rewarding those who are, who are working for that, who are, who are bringing that issue, and who are putting his own, his own business on the line uh, for the sake of a, of a just cause. So rewarding companies is just as important, if not more important, than punishing companies that have the wrong position. Rewarding them for, the, for taking the right position is just as important, if not more important, than punishing them for taking the wrong position. So again, look it up, Caramello Cafes. There's two locations, I believe. There may be more, but I'm aware of two locations. Uh, so please, if you're in the UK, and if you're, you know, if it's if it's in your area, please go and support this brother's business.